So I'm presently feeding silage to the cows. I'm putting out this bucket full here. Uh, these are my yearlings. Uh, they are tearing it up. They ain't wasting no time, as you can see. They are working me over and almost rushing me here. But I put out this whole bucket full. There's two troughs that I do. This is the first one. And uh, they meet me at the trough. As you can see, I got a little cotton seed mixed in there with it. With this whole bucket, I put two bags of cotton seed with this bucket full of them for the tractor. And I wish I could say how much seed is actually is by weight, but I, I don't have any way of doing that at the moment. But it does work good because you can see they literally loving it. And they don't waste no time eating it. So that blue truffle, that's going to be the other one I'm going to fill as soon as I get to get this one full. But uh, they all in here. It's about 30 of them to be exact. And uh, they're not wasting any time uh, getting into it and tearing it up. I'm going to back up just a little bit, get a little bigger picture, better picture of what we got going on there. Some good looking calves in there. They, uh, they're healthy, they look good, and this stuff just works. I haven't been feeding this very long, and I've had a little bit different feed, but we're going to see how this picks up and, and run off. And uh, see how well it do. I got some, a few, couple of newcomers in here, but they took a break, about a two week break because of the cold and the ice and everything, but now it's going to warm back up. I can get back out to feed them like I normally do. And so they've been eating hay, but they don't waste no time. Hay is okay, but it's not like this corn silage, uh, which is nothing more than uh, ground up corn, the whole stalk, ear, and everything, carb and everything, all ground up. And this is what they're eating. It's uh, like I say, it's uh, 8% culprit uh, crude protein, 8% and 20% TDN. That's total digestible nutrients. And so we're 8%. So usually uh, that's kind of low on the protein. So I try to supplement it with cotton seed to get that protein up and uh, and still give them plenty to eat and little bellies get full. And so it'd be good looking, good looking cows at the end of the day. But that's where we are. I thought I'd get a little more video on uh, showing what we got going on here and uh, how I feed the calves. And they, a couple standing right here looking at me. But uh, they, they can't wait for me to get it all out. And they, uh, they're tearing it up. They're enjoying this feed. It's like eating at Red Lobster, I suppose, huh? But okay, well, I'm going to get back in here and try to put some more in. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to see if I can work this video while I'm raking it out of the trough there. I'm not sure whether that's possible or not. So I'm gonna hold it with one hand and so you guys can see a little bit about how what I'm doing and how I do it. So I just saw I'm at the trough right now, so I just sort of reach in here and pull it down. You see my hand there as I, I reach in there and just grab a little cotton seed and all of it, but pull it off into the trough. And uh and they're just they just sitting here eating because we can't you know way to do it and get them all out the way but they don't bother me or nothing we just sort of do what we do and uh by god they are tearing it up they're literally loving this stuff i kind of got my tractor a little bit too close on my trough so i need to go up and back it up a little bit so i can get more in here but i'm going to do that and, uh, but they all crowded in here, as you can see. And, uh, they're kind of tearing it up here. I'm going to go back the track up a little bit, uh, back it up so I can put more off into that feed trough there. And uh, go from there. The cows are way over there, as you can see. They're on the other side of the fence, but they, if they was over here, they'd be tearing this up too. they love it just like these calves do, these uh, yearlings. It's a good feed for them, and it's a lot cheaper to feed the cotton seed, but you don't get the protein out of it that, that I like to get. So that's the, that's the downside of it, if that's one to be had. It's a good supplement, great for cows, and not quite as good for the yearlings, but it fills them up. It's a good filler. And there we have it. So I'm going to work, work the bucket a little bit, and I'll get back with another video later. Thanks for watching.